In the United States, the care of many older adults has gone from being a community responsibility and part of everyday family life to a private industry. In the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, where people were quick to shrug off the risk of the virus once they knew it was most deadly to those aged 65 and over, the visibility of older people is more important than ever. The media coverage of the pandemic laid bare the toll taken on senior living communities, but often in abstract, almost dismissive terms focusing on the deaths instead of the lives of those still here. This summer, I devoured Being Mortal, Atul Gawande's book on end-of-life care in America. Being Mortal captivated me in how much it spoke to my experiences with Brandywine living at Senior Suites in East Norridan, Pennsylvania. It seems we've succumbed to a belief that, once you lose your physical independence, a life of worth and freedom is simply not possible, Gawande writes. At Brandywine, that couldn't be more untrue. I first visited Brandywine in 2011, when my high school art club took several trips there around Christmas to make cards with the residents. I was an aspiring photographer at the time, and when I found out that the home held a yearly senior prom, I asked if I could come back and document it. I returned to the facility again in college to take pictures of residents for the facility's monthly bulletin board. After I graduated, I began working as a freelance photojournalist in Philadelphia. I couldn't stop thinking about the home and decided to continue to take photos in 2019 as an ongoing personal project. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.